on the theme of love, <laughs> gentlemen, ladies, all right, this is called, I tried to write you a love poem. I tried, I tried, I tried, oh sweet bouncing baby Buddha on a pogo stick, how I tried, I tried to write you a love poem, but my pen ran out of romance and I amused myself in the dark by making fart noises until I finally fell asleep and dreamed alone. I tried to write you a love poem, but my brain ran out of brilliance. And instead I watch my neighbors argue like the enthralled voyeur I am, and I know others are brooding, ashamed. I tried to write you a love poem, but my heart ran out of rhythm, and I resigned again to my peculiar selfish ways, and ultimately decided that words always become quaint, abstracts. I tried to write you a love poem, but this is all I could come up with. Hey, isn't it the thought that counts? Poem plus love plus artistic expression equals for you. It's the only equation I can truly share eternally. This is not a love poem, but I will still dedicate it to everyone in this room that is a writer. This is called Poets for Sale. We are the traveling salesmen of verse. We have been quietly washed in by twilight's tide and shall make our exit by the same mysterious means before the piercing dawn. We artfully dissect your town's charm and personality and turn them into accessible mythic fables. That is, if it moves and behooves us. We require more wine, women, and wanton wonders to appease we, the vessels of the mischievous muse. We bring you wisdom, laughter, fire and brimstone, and oh, so sultry lines designed to melt even the coldest of unromantic hearts. We herald the births of new eras, gestating and yet to come forth. So when the donation hat makes its way around to you, my friends, please tip generously and often, for a happy poet needs only food, clothing, shelter, and bus fare to the next venue of soul-bearing bards. We have wanderlust in our very bones. The call of the open road beckons us. Rest now, my darlings. We will describe it all to you upon our return from your wildest dreams. This last one is called Eiffel Tower Fantasy. She has this crazy fantasy. She wants to be proposed to in front of the Eiffel Tower, the one in Paris, France. And she told me that info on our first date at Chipotle. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cute, but then I felt compelled to explain the differences between fantasies and realistic goals in life. She was horribly crushed. She cried and said I was cruel. I laughed and called her an idiot. She said, go screw yourself. I said, I'm way ahead of you. She slapped me in the face. I grabbed her ass real hard. Then we made out like animals. Yeah, yeah, like that. 